Hi everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. It's your FIFA Diva here, and today, you guys, I am super excited to be doing another review. Of course, kind of a review, kind of get right with me, kind of a tutorial with the new ColourPop Peaches collection. You guys, OMG Becky, look at her peach. <laughs> I'm so excited. The packaging is everything. I love, love, love peach makeup. It's just my go-to. Obsessed with it. I am super excited to go ahead and get started. I just wanted to give a big thank you guys to 130k. What the F? Late last video, I was thinking you guys for 100k, and I'm thinking for 130k. Like... We are growing insane, and I am so appreciative, and I'm so gagged, and I'm just that diva. Like, I'm just gagged. <laughs> so thank you guys so much. Thanks for joining the Diva Army, girl. We are taking over. We're not a club, girl. We're not a community. We are just an army, and we're taking over, period. Period. <laughs> Before we get into today's video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It means so much to me. Girl, we hit 130k. Time to hit 140k. Period. <laughs> I need to stop saying period. But yeah, so don't forget to subscribe. Give this video a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. And yeah, let's get started. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and dive all in to the products. This is what the package looks like, you guys. It says, OMG Becky, look at her big old peach. I feel like this whole collection is inspired by like my ass pics, you know? So first we have the Baby Gap Peach Palette. I love, love ColourPop eyeshadows. You guys already know that. So good. Packaging, I love it. Sleek and cute. Ooh. Oh, yes. Bitch, these colors. Period. Absolutely. Period. Next is You Want a Peach of Me, which is a super shock trio. So, so, so cute. Oh, I love the color of the packaging, guys. This is like my favorite color. Ugh, they're hard to open. <gasps> oh, that color is so pretty. Oh, these are cute. So these are the three colors. This first one is called 6 a.m. Then we have Golden Hour. Then we have In Access, the last one. I love the details of the peach on the packaging. Packaging is always the same. Like, these little collections that Clip Hop comes out with, it's usually like the same stuff, just has like a color theme. And I love peach. Like, peach is so good, girl. Just reminds me of my ass. I'm drinking a peach energy drink right now. It's just peach all around. Okay, then we have a Bellini Baby. That's what BB stands for. But you get a lip balm. Oh, let me see if this smells like peaches. Ooh, we don't taste good and don't smell like peaches. This is what it looks like. Their lip balms are pretty good. Not my favorite, but they are good. And then their lippy scrub, which I know, know this is going to smell like peaches. It doesn't. It don't taste good. I, s I remember these tasting good. Ugh. And then we have the Beach Please Just a Tint Bundle. You guys, the Just a Tints are just so, 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 so good. Hopefully they have a pinkier one. Give me some more. Oh my god, this one. It's so good, you guys. This is like my favorite one ever. It's the prettiest little pink, and it's so good. I'm gonna wear this one today just because I have to. And then this is Rise and Shine. Rise and Shine is this one right here. Ooh, I'm so happy they gave me give me some more. Oh my god. Then we have Nothing on BFF Duo. <gasps> Oh my god, they came out with a brown liner, you guys. I've been asking Clap Out for a brown liner for so long. Oh, it's the perfect brown. It's almost black. That's my favorite. And this, you guys know, I love their mascara for my bottom lashes. So excited about that. God damn, this is like a lot of products, Diva. <gasps> you guys, I did like really light makeup today. I'm laboring a BB cream. So this is what the packaging looks like, you guys. So, so cute. I'm obsessed with the peaches. Oh, this blush is an interesting color. We have this shade, which is called Perk Up. Then we have Fresh and Peachy, a really pretty peachy shade. Ooh, and then we have Frisky Business, which is a very light peach. I'm sorry, my color is not really light payoff well. I will say that none of these will work on darker skin tones. Um, maybe this one, but like not like deep dark skin tones. So literally, I have an hour to do this glam. I have a meeting at six and it's four and it's an hour away. So let me bring you in, girl. Please don't drag me on my skin. Girl, there's nothing I can do about it. I'm just ugly at this point. Period. Going in with Baby Got Peach on this palette right here. I'm going to first go in with the shade Darling first. This is this really nice warm brown. I'm just going to be taking this on a nice big brush. And kind of just like literally just being really messy with it. I'm kind of going to make this like 
into my nose contour. So I'm kind of keeping it pretty high, like right above the crease. And then just really dragging it out. That way I'm going to get that contour. You guys can kind of see it's looking really nice with my bronzer and everything. So I'm just going to kind of focus this right here. Because again, I want to contour. Bring it up. You guys know ColourPop's shadows are amazing. Like this really isn't even a review. It's just basically a tutorial because they don't really come up with a lot of new products. Um, it's just usually new colors. Which I'm really, really excited about. I love that ColourPop's always coming out with stuff. And it's always, always good. If you guys have ever purchased anything from ColourPop, let me know what your favorite thing is. Because they're late bomb. But yeah, I'm just basically contouring everything. You guys, this weekend, it's actually been a crazy, crazy weekend. So last Friday, I flew out to Chicago because my parents adopted a new baby girl. Well, not necessarily adopted, but they're fostering a baby girl that they'll eventually be adopting, as we were hoping. <laughs> but I love her so much, so I had to go meet her. And also, the Jeffrey meet and greet was out in Chicago, and Morphe was like, hey girl, you here? I texted someone for the Morphe team, and I was like, hey girl, I'm in Chicago. I hear you're having a store opening. This was before I knew knew that Jeffrey was having meet and greet there and I actually just seen him at the Morphe launch party so I was like oh my god I want to go see him again and I wanted my mom to meet Jeffrey and also my friend Gage they are such huge fans so yeah I had them they're like oh my god like come like Jeffrey's gonna be there and you know you, you can see him again and I was like oh my god like I would love to so we ended up going it was such a hassle to get there I was supposed to be there at 12 girl I didn't get there till 2 it was so hard for me to get there I met so many of you guys oh my god it was insane and yeah it was just so much fun just seeing Jeffrey again. I got pulled into the back room with him. <sighs> Jeffrey, I'm always unbiased when it comes to stuff like that. I'm always unbiased with everything. ColourPop, I love ColourPop. They're my favorite brand, but I'm always unbiased. I feel like why I am so unbiased and just so unbothered is just because I'm still like a person that loves makeup. I'm not, I don't really see myself as a beauty influencer. I don't see myself as a beauty guru. Like I see myself as a normal person. On the daily, I'm watching beauty influencers constantly. So like to me, when I review something, it's not like a make it or break it. Like, oh my God, this is gonna ruin my relationship. Oh my gosh, if I give this Jeffrey Palette a bad review, like it's gonna ruin any chances with him. Like I don't think like that, like where other influencers do think like that. But I'm not on his PR list. And I see that as a big like, Look, I'm not on this PR list. There's no reason for me just to rave about this palette. And because his PR list is so exclusive, people, I feel like, are very biased. Where I'm like, girl, I'm not even on it. I don't even care. Like, if I think this palette is trash, I'm going to let you know. And I've had really good luck with Jeffrey, of course, because he is an influencer, so he's trying hella stuff. But I've also had amazing luck with Jaclyn Cosmetics, which a lot of people didn't. So it's basically always opinionated, but that's just something to keep in mind. I've been getting actually a lot of comments about that. People being like, Oh, you say you're so unbiased, blah, 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 but it's because, like, there's really no reason for me to be biased. Even though I love Jeffrey, like, there's no reason for me to lie, you know? So now I'm going to be taking Counterfold, which is this beautiful, beautiful peach. And I'm really just going to take this on a huge brush and just wipe it over here, girl. So, so nicely pigmented. I barely tapped into it. You guys can see very, very little fallout, which we stand. We love that. And I'm also going to take this in, blend out like that. Honestly, just like kind of like a hint of color. I don't want it to be like too pink because I don't really even know what I'm really going to wear. But yeah, it was like so, so cool seeing Jeffrey again. He is just so nice to me. He was so nice to my mom and my friend. We took the most iconic photo ever. I'll insert it right here. If you guys didn't see it on my IG, go follow me at Cold World Girl. What are you waiting for? The Diva Nation. Diva Takeover. Go follow. <laughs> But also, I will also be announcing my winners from my Jeffrey X Morphe giveaway soon. I'm so excited about that. I'm still so shook that we hit 100k. Um, and I'm also shook because we just hit 130k. It's what? I'm gagged. Like, I literally cannot believe how fast we're growing. Like, it honestly, like, scares me because... When you like start growing a bigger following, it gets kind of scary because you're like, I have to be more careful, like, oh my gosh, like, it puts a lot more stress on you because you just don't want to mess up, you know? Like, that's like the biggest thing. It's not like mess up like getting a scandal, but like, I don't know, you just never want to like disappoint. That's what it is. I don't want to disappoint anyone, you know? I really like love you guys so much and the last thing I ever want to do is disappoint anyone. Like me, when I was younger, my family, like my dad and my mom would be like, I'm disappointed in you. Like that would be like the worst thing they could ever say to me. So like, I feel like the same way with um, you guys, of course. Oh my god, that dog is being so annoying. I'm gonna go in with Ochre and Half Baked, just mixing them. And I'm just gonna be packing this on the outer V, just so we can tone down that pink. And I'm just gonna kind of blend like right here. I'm not really gonna take it anywhere. Okay, so I did like kind of like a little cut crease-ish moment. I'm gonna be packing out some shimmer over it, but I just need like a little bit of a tacky base. So I'm gonna go in with the shade Ready or Yacht, which is this really pretty champagne shade. Of course, it's not gonna focus. So I'm just gonna be taking that and just lay packing on the inner corner. And then I'm gonna go in with Glaze It, which is kind of like a brownie shimmer. So I'm just gonna take that first shade and just pack it on. She is pigmented, girl. 
I'm just gonna bring her up a little bit and I'm kind of gonna bring in the inner corner too just a little peach moment now going in with the glaze it shade and just packing it on the outer corner just so we have some dimension oh this is so cute I love peachy looks my makeup is really simple today my outfit's gonna be pretty simple so maybe we should just make it dramatized a little bit Ooh, you guys I love this so, so cute. I've been looking at the monitor like this whole time. But it really makes my green eyes pop, don't you guys think? Oh my god, you guys, I did my wings off camera and they came out horrible. This one came out so bad. I literally was shaking so bad from my energy drink. Like, I'm literally like, shaking right now. <laughs> but whatever, I just want to show you guys the color. Um, I'm going to add some lashes and mascara and I'll be back to show you guys the lower lash line and the blush. Okay, so this is basically what the eyes look like with lashes. I'm actually wearing Batty B, of course, and this style Saucy, which I don't really wear these that often, so I love these ones. They're so good, so wispy. You can use code Cole at checkout to save. They're already pretty inexpensive, though. Like, they're way cheaper than Lily. I think they're literally half the price of Lily. That's why I've been promoting them so much, you guys. Like, girl, I know it's like, I remember crying to my grandma, begging her to buy me lay lashes for prom, uh, like, two years ago. And girl, now I got boxes full of them. <laughs> I'm really so dumb. I forgot to use the Super Shock Shadows. So I'm gonna go in with Golden Hour and just rush this underneath my lash line. Rush this. Use this underneath my lash line. And just for a little pop of color. The Super Shock Shadows, you guys, are so, so good. I'm just going in very lightly. Again, just to add some color. They're so good. Apply with your finger. But... Sorry, I'm like so focused. <laughs> but I just want like a tint of little sparkles. Can you guys kind of see the sparkles? Now going in to brownie points, which is my favorite mascara ever for the bottom lash line. I don't really like this formula for the top lashes. It is really good mascara, you guys. And look at how nice and full makes my lashes look. I do put a lash primer at the edge of my lashes. That way they look like clump less. But in the inner parts, I want to clump. That way, it looks more natural. You guys, look at that freaking mascara. It's bomb. Definitely something to try. I think it's only $5. So, girl, take the chances and try it. I think one of my dream collabs is 100% ColourPop. Like, oh, I'm so obsessed with them, you guys. Like, everything's just so, so good. So, I'm going to be taking the blush in Fresh and Peachy. This is, like, the darkest of the three. I do like ColourPop's blushes a lot. Okay. That brush and highlighter on it. Let's try this again. Ooh, I love that color. I don't appreciate the highlighter that's on my face, but I guess we're just gonna have to roll with it, right? We're just rolling with the punches, girl. That's like me every time I do my makeup. I'm just sitting there like, girl, basically flying through space, trying to avoid all the asteroids. Like, I'd be going through it when I do my makeup. But I'm really obsessed with like, the monochromatic look. I didn't even, I didn't even plan out this peachy shirt. I was just wearing it. I like my blush. It's so, so cute. Now I'm gonna be applying my lip liner in BFF1 and also the lip crayon, just a tint in the shade Z Boys. Oh wait, I'm sorry, give me s'more. Z Boys is my other favorite one. <laughs> okay guys, so this is the finished look. I am obsessed with this collection. ColourPop never fails to show up and show out, ending the girls, ending the beauty community, ending all the brands, girl. Period. They're killing it. <laughs> but I love, love this collection. It is so cute. I love anything and everything peach. Um, yeah, I'm like really obsessed with it. I wish it smelled like peaches, but I don't know if they can do that, you know, because Miss Too Faced over there might get mad, you know? But I love it. It's such a cute collection. I love everything. I love the blush. My favorite thing is the lip tints. I am obsessed with them. You guys need to try them. Please try them. Please try Gimme S'more. It's incredible. I love the liner. Girl, I was shaking pretty bad, so she came out a little jagged, but that's okay. <laughs> Yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. I'll have the collection link down below once it goes live. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for 130,000, like, gagatron. Like, I'm... period. 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 <laughs> thank you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Leave me a comment down below. I would appreciate it so much. I love you, divas, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, everyone.